So um, this is a video on my latest Fafi haul, and I was going to post this anyway, of course, but users 2 Makeup Girl and TST Girl, or is it Girl, like a sound effect, um, have requested that I do my Fafi haul video. So what I got from there was one iridescent powder and two of the paint pots. And this is pretty much my haul, and I'll be just kind of talking to you about my first impressions of these products, showing some swatches, and yeah, general, general discussion, I guess. So if you go to a normal Mac store, you will probably get your Fafi stuff in a Fafi bag. And on the sides are each of the Fafi nets, and it says Mac Fafi on one side. And there's like a, a white girl, yellow girl, and... Uh, African American girl or African girl. The bag smells kind of funny. But anyway, I went to a normal Mac store to get my paint pots, but then I went to a Mac store in Nordstrom to get the iridescent powder, and they didn't give you this bag. They just gave you the normal plastic see through Mac bag. So if you want the bag, make sure you go to a Mac store. It might be different at your store, I don't know. So. Um, this is the iridescent powder slash pressed pressed powder in vervaceous. Vervaceous. And on the front is one of the Fafi nets. I guess it's the white one. The white girl. And it says Mac Fafi on the front. I guess this is her signature. And this is not a sticker. I think the blushes, in addition, in addition to the pressed powders, have the Fafi logos or pictures on them that are part of the plastic. The blushes would have the clear um, see-through lid and on the lid are written Mac Fafi, is written Mac Fafi, but here the whole lid is um, kind of covered with this picture. So that's kind of cool. Um, I definitely wanted to get one item from the collection with a Mac Fafi um, logo and this was the cutest one there and I'm glad I like this powder. So open it up. It has a mirror, which is a very big plus. Um, all, my, all the MAC blushes just have the clear see-through top and no mirror, and I don't have anything with from MAC actually that has a mirror. So this is a really, really big plus because you can just take it out of your purse. You could just use it for its mirror, you know, and be on its way, and plus it's so cute. Um, but upon first seeing these guys, I think there's like three of these in total. This one's like a peachier brownish one. Upon first seeing these things, um, here, you could see kind of like the shimmer going on, and these things have like pieces of glitter in them. You'll probably see it right there. But, um, these things were so glittery that they um, turned me off. But I did, I signed up for one of the MAC Fafi like makeover appointment things and I had well a makeup artist use this on me and it looked really really good because it contoured my cheeks in the most subtle and natural way and my friend was there she said she really liked it too so I just had to get it because I had the mirror and I had the, you know everything about it but as a warning it really does have like big pieces of gold glitter in it but you can only see it in certain angles and sometimes it, after a while, it just kind of fades away, and I don't know, like, you don't notice it that well, unless someone's, like, staring at your face. I asked my boyfriend, like, do you see it? And I kind of, like, rotated my face side to side, and he couldn't. It might have rubbed off by that time. So, I mean, the big glitter isn't that bad, and I think I'd actually kind of like a blush that is this color um, someday without the glitter in it. There, you could see it better. Um, so don't be put off by this, um, unless you really, really, really hate glitter. So just try this on your face first before you run out and buy it, because you actually just might not like it at all because of the glitter. So try it out and ask people what they think, because when you're looking at a mirror, you can only see one angle, and maybe you could see, like, two specks of glitter, but maybe on the side, someone else can see a lot more. So try this out. I've been wearing it a lot in the past few days, and I really like it. I can't get it to show up as well as the MAC artist did, but I think you just have to put more on to get the color. And I've been using the MAC 116 blush brush to put this on.
works pretty well. I think that's what she used too. And then I got two paint pots. They're neutral colors. One was called Girl Friendly, the pink one. And the other was called Lay and Low. And I really had my eyes set on the purple one called Nice Vice. But I already had a MAC shade stick in Royal Hue that looked exactly the same. Like if you swatched Nice Vice on your hand and put the Royal Hue shade stick right next to it, they look exactly the same. Um, we went to Nordstrom. It was totally sold out of Nice Vice. And online, I think Nice Vice is sold out. So if you want this paint pot, run, run, run and get it. It is a beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous purple color. If you're going to have a purple base, you need to get that one because there's no other purple paint pot from my um, understanding. Maybe there is, but I don't think there is, really. And then it looks just like Royal Hue. So get one or the other. Don't be sad if you miss out on the paint pot. Just get the, the shade stick and you'll be... It's a very, very good um, duplicate. But anyway, these are pretty, probably easier just to smear around because you just put it on a brush. But the sticks are, you know, quicker, I guess, because you don't need a brush. But anyway, um, so I wanted some neutral paint pots because I only had, at the moment, I had Quite Natural from the End Collection in addition to uh, benefit Creaseless Cream sh Eyeshadow. So I wanted to complete my um, collection of neutral paint pots first before I go on to colored ones. And here are the swatches of the two. Top is Lay and Low, and the bottom is Girl Friendly. Um, Lay and Low, I would describe as a, a medium, medium brown with a little bit of red undertone to it. So since my skin has yellow undertones, this kind of looked a little pink or a little red, but not, not crazy at all. So this is a good, oh, my Band-Aid. This is a good um, brown. If you're like NC40 maybe, this might actually just match your skin tone. But um, I'm NC30, NC35 right now. So this is a little darker, but it's a nice base, neutral base. Especially if you don't like using Urban Decay and you have darker eyelids, then this be a good one. And Girl Friendly is a very nice rosy pink, maybe with a little bit of purple undertone to it. And here you go. So they're, neither of them are shimmery. They're both um, just cream. And um, yeah, they're shimmer. And they're relatively easy to spread spread around. So I like these two so far. You can see I'm far away. And I wore Girl Friendly with a purple look yesterday, like pink underneath, some I don't know, purple on the edges, and oh, I put Modest Tone on the inner corner over this. It's, it's very good for a nice um, pink base, and Lay and Low I'm wearing today. Can't see it, but I'm wearing it with Kitten and just some darker pigment in the lid for a nice uh, neutral look today. And some espresso on the edges. So, um, I also swatched them on my hand here. The bottom is Lay and Low, and the top is Girl Friendly. And for reference, my skin is like NC30, NC35. Um, so that's why I said the brown one, maybe like NC40 or something, maybe NC45. I don't know. It's pretty, actually pretty dark compared to my hand. And I've been getting lighter. I think I'm actually NC30 pretty solidly now, and I used to be NC35 at the beginning of the um, fall. So, those are the paint pots. And also, the MAC Fafi uh, Iridescent Press Powder came in this case. This box, I mean, that matches the case. And on the back, it has like more foffy and stuff like that. So this is a very tempting um, box to keep. But the paint pots come in the normal MAC boxes, so nothing too special. So that's my haul. And if you have any specific questions about them, uh, let me know. And I hope you go out and try Fafi. Um, the reasons why I didn't get the lip glosses is because I actually have grown to not like MAC lip glosses. I like their lipsticks, slim shines, and lip jellies better. And then their lipsticks were really sparkly in this um, collection and very bright. So I, I'm very, very much into neutral lip colors. So that's why I didn't get them. Sorry for people who are expecting me to get those and share with you, but um, what can I say? So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.